Welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm Loop the Third. My playthrough of Parasite Eve 2, and we're at the final boss, Mitochondrial Eve. And I shouldn't have stood there. Let's get this failure rolling. Now she is fast. Like, mega. Like you wouldn't believe. It's not an easy boss fight, from what I remember, because she has all sorts of, yep, she's got nasty, nasty attacks. Gonna charge me. Yep. Great graphics though for this boss fight. Uh oh. Move, 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 move. Get what that does. That's right, it raises your uh, parasite energy till it explodes. Move. I don't need to be attacked by rainbow sparklers, thank you very much. Damn, I'm in, uh, yep. Yeah, move, 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 move. That was the worst. Antibody on quick. Ah, oh, shouldn't have stood that. Ah, oh, Mount Vamo. Reload. She's still coming through. Uh, that was close. Although the good thing with that is you can get some uh, MP regenerated. Oh, this ghost farm. Yeah, you've got to be quick getting rid of them because they can do a lot of damage. Go wave! Appreciate the free heal. And that's what happens if you leave it. No, I can get away without using one for the moment. 
Almost. Take some bloody chunks out of you instead, woman. Oh, come on, that's cheating. Yep, I'm gonna have to use a ring of solution. I need the MP back. Uh, what? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. She got stuck, yeah. Right. Stage one complete. Because I'm almost sure she has another stage. Flying upside down just then. How weird. Wait, I haven't finished it, have I? Couldn't have done. Uh, sorry, talking over there. That was Aya and Eve. Nah, I remember that being a lot harder than the other boss. It's time to wake up, Aya. The mitochondria has you. Just refocus the old eye. And yet it looked like he lost a leg. Well, that's not the question she asked. She asked, where is she? That's better. Oh, those droplets are loud. Oh, don't fall in love with him just because you've just met him. When I first met you, I didn't trust you an inch and still don't. Get off me. Young woman and a child. We got two down. That's creepy. Right, scrum! September 7th, 2000, 9 or 5 p.m. At the White House. Hanging out in the hizzity house.
<gasps> Mr. President! She's pretty hot, though. Cultist nuclear attack story. Yeah, that'll do. No one would have thought about the Manhattan incident from three years ago with this. They don't know what was going on. <laughs> Which means there was something at Roswell. Yes, exactly, using a railgun. Computer generated doctored images soon showing a weather balloon. Microwave misfire from a solar power collecting satellite. Uh, fair enough. We'll appreciate our quest for clean energy. You know, because the Cold War's still not dead. Aye, Madigan's disappeared then. Yes, he does. He knows more than we do. Like, the total involvement of the American presidency. Just exactly how much does the government know about mitochondrial creatures? The FBI moved into action arresting some of its own and some missed officers, collaboration with a private organization. All information regarding the organization running the shelter has been classified. Slap with a gag order. And cultist uprising. Case was closed. Near mitochondria were filed and forgotten. Following Baldwin's arrest, Rupert took the senior post. E. Working on a secret a project to disclose mist and the NMCs. Ah, Maeda returns. Has proposed a new superhuman theory. By identifying neo-mitochondrial DNA, he calculated the frequency of latent carriers over a ten-year span. His theory that these carriers would lead to the evolution of the human species is not widely accepted. So basically what he's saying is that with what mitochondrial traces are in the general public, is that it'll be a generational thing that with each person we will become more and more superhuman, smarter, faster, stronger. And Pierce has gone with Maida. Persecution occurs. Yes, exactly. They're trying to find a way to make the people such as I am more accepting of it and to know what to expect. Ugh, that's too happy. She's now my younger sister, no questions asked. Her face reveals nothing of his her dark past, life and quite popular at school. Seems to have lost her powers. Ah, oh, Flint. Rebuilding Dryfield. He sent me a picture of a rifle scope price tag attached. Only Kyle hasn't been seen. Not since that day. I haven't even found a trace. If he hadn't shot me, I wouldn't, I'd wonder if he really existed at all. Or was it all a dream?
passes to the nature museum. She craves knowledge. So excited about tomorrow she can't sleep. I'll have to brush up if I'm going to be able to answer her questions. One year later. In September time again. It's a rather empty museum. We don't, do we even have that now? Holographic Triceratai, uh, Triceratops models. Triceratai, the hell's a Triceratai? What do we got here? Stood at that jaunty angle, wearing a jumper and jeans. He needs to change his clothes. And that, folks, has been Parasite Eve 2. I'm going to shut up whilst the end credits are on. See you once they're finished.
item tally. See, this is why I bought the guns. You get more BP when you finish the game. So, 12,993 EXP, 25,000... Sorry, 255,378 BP. And I've earned to uh, Aya's special body armor. Spartan rounds. The Afuda. When you finish this game, you get multiple items. Uh, each time you finish it, you get different items. So that you always have them when you begin the next game. Because, if I load up my game save now, I think I have to play through it again. Ah, well, I've got to change the disc one. Well, that's not going to happen. Uh, to, you get, like, a bounty mode where you go hunting for the golems throughout the whole game and, like, scavenger mode just to get a massive BP score and everything. I don't know if you're seeing an image right now. It might be a black screen. But either way... I've enjoyed playing through this again, and I know I've waffled a bit, but I do really like the Parasite Eve games, and even if you've watched me play this and you've seen the full ending now, that is like the true ending to the second game, hit it up and play it. It's enjoyable. You get to read everything that I haven't read or that I've skipped, like books and things, although there's not as much text in this one as the first one. So, take that for what you will. Which feels longer? Definitely the second one. The first game is quite short for story-wise, although the first one, obviously, you've got the benefit of both. The first one's in York, and this one's in this area. If you don't go back to Dryfield and everything, you can really do this quite quick. So, yeah, I've enjoyed playing this. I hope someone's enjoyed watching this. I've been Loopney Third. Thank you very much. See you in the next Let's Play.